Welcome guys, I'm Mr. Verashas and today we'll be looking at a very sensitive topic and that's an um, issue on gender. Well, um, there is a need to discuss gender because, um, well, it's the reason for most struggles between um, male and female is the reason why um, the society sometimes is plunged into chaos. Um, there are issues of um, 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 oppression, patriarchy narrative, and there are issues of um, um, cultural dominance of the male over the female. And there are issues of um, men being favored in being favored in religion ceremonies and well, pick up differences, societal differences. So there are a lot of issues that is attributed to gender, and so there is a need to talk about gender. So what's gender? Well, gender has to do with the role the sexes play in the society, whereas um, the sex could be male or female. And so, you, you, you see, there are, one needs to understand the, the, the specific role of each gender in the society. And as well, one needs to understand what gender is really about, because there are emerging ideology about gender. And so this ideology is that gender is a social construct. So, well, by the way, Something in the social construct, if that thing does not exist in objective reality, that is, that thing is existing as a result of human interaction. So, is gender really a social construct, or gender really exists in real um, life or in natural life? Well, before I can answer this question, let's understand, let's listen to what certain people say about gender. Well, there's this popular, um, strong feminist, and it's a good, it's a writer, and so she said that um, gender is. Um, maintaining a particular category rather that um, is socially constructed and that doing gender is fundamentally an issue of social relationship. Um, well, many other um, influential speakers like her, such as um, um, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, had, in several of her talks, she had painted scenarios where she tried to um, explain gender by looking at certain examples that seems to also support the ideology that gender is socially constructed. And so she made one of these assertions in one of her presentations, and that assertion was that, um, that the problem with gender is that gender tends to prescribe how we should be rather than, how, rather than recognizing how we are, and that boys and the girls are undeniably biologically different, but these um, differences are uh, exaggerated by socialization. Well, while I will agree with her that um, there are differences biologically in boys and girls and that gender prescribe how we should be um, to a degree because that statement is to an extent is not totally true, um, I would also want to disagree with her because um, if gender really does not prescribe how we should be or how we are rather then What's the difference between male and female? Because you can think of quite a number of differences between male and female. Because the differences between male and female is not just about biologically. There, there are other differences, such as psychological difference, um, physiological difference, morphological difference. You see, well, one thing one needs to understand is that there are things that make men men, and there are things that make women women. And one cannot deny that fact. Because, for instance, the external genitalia um, this male has penis and the, the women have vagina and the breast and well you cannot deny that fact and then secondly the male um, the female rather have their natural ability to bear a child in their uterus for nine months and then that child receive nutrition from the mother well this is peculiar to the female male cannot do this and then the female also have the ability to breastfeed the child and male cannot do this. The female have a biological cycle called the menstrual cycle. Men don't do this. So the female secrete estrogen as well as um, um, progesterone, whereas male secrete testosterone. And these are biological differences. These things are not socially constructed. They are an objective reality. However, there are certain um, learned behavior that is peculiar to male and female and also culture specific. Well, to that degree, one can say that gender is... Um, a social construct because you can learn those behaviors. Morphologically, you will also notice that male has um, wider jaw and then larger teeth. They can bite more hard and then they are powerful in the upper part of their bodies and they can they can punch harder. They are taller and they are weightier than the females. So these things are not socially constructed. They are fat. So, so as much as you can tell, these are 
um, sexual dimorphism and as much as one know um, sexual dimorphic or mammals primates are sexually dimorphic you can also look at the physiological um, perspective um, you notice that the waist hip ratio of the female is different from the male the female have, have a layer of subcutaneous fat the male don't have the female are more prone to pain resistance the, ma the, the male are less and then the female can endure pains they can tolerate more uh, they are more they have um, an edge in um, verbal ability whereas male have edge in spatial ability and these things are in objective reality they are natural they, they are not socially constructed you can also consider the psychological difference between male and female so you see that the in terms of in the extraversion front the female are more um, in enthusiastic whereas male are more assertive and then in the agreeableness front the, the female are more emotional more polite and more compassionate than the male and the, the male are highly disagreeable in the conscientiousness front the female are more orderly and then the male are more industrious or slightly more industrious and then in the openness to experience front the male are more open to idea in neuroticism front the female are more volatile and prone to withdrawal so these things are not socially constructed these things are just there in objective reality so it's it, it's very funny when one say that gender is entirely socially constructed because though there are overlaps in this thing however there is more of um overlap in sense in the sexes and gender there is than there is um lack of overlap however these differences are uh, magnified at the extreme and they are maximized as the society tends towards um, egalitarianist to society. Uh, uh, by the way, an, an egalitarian society is one that gives equal rights, equal treatment and equal opportunities to um, all gender. Well, there is, from the psychological standpoint, there is this difference is that there is this difference that is undeniably true between male and female. For instance, the male are more um, interested in things, so you find them in profession like um, engineering, sciences, tech, and then um, IT. Male are more dominating in that in that um, profession. So, whereas the women are more interested in people, so they, they are majorly interested in profession like humanities, um, in the um, health, and then mostly in education also. So. These differences are very, very obvious because even in Scandinavia, where um, there is a huge progress in this gender struggle, you discover that if you leave a woman and leave a man to make a choice, women will always go towards the choices, um, towards career that is more um, t um, has a high proclivity towards people, whereas male will go in things that has a lot to do with things and all that. And these differences are not socially constructed. There are in fundamental reality that are just there so once the problem is not even one saying that um gender is socially constructed the problem is one saying that gender as a whole is a social construct because gender is biological is psychological is physiological is morphological and gender is social is social that's what they mean by social construct you see one of the the most established finding in the social science is that the more the society enhance or the more egalitarian a society is um, the more that society becomes um, the more the gap between gender widens and this is one of the craziest and the truest of all truths that one can look at in social sciences and it, it has never been disproved though the the, the, the man that really brought this um, um, made these findings um, Paul James Timor actually was got was fired by Google but however his thesis was actually very true and so what's the conclusion gender is not just a social construct gender has a social part of it that has to do with culture and religion certain things we learn around but there are other things that make men men and there are other things that make female female and this can never be disputed by the way once again i am veracious thank you for listening